Good news, everybody. The Del Monte Fruit Company has come up with a pink pineapple. This is something that they've been working on for about 15 years, and it's finally just been released. The pineapple is marketed under the name Pink Glow, and it's not something you can really get at supermarkets, but you can order it online. This was not sent to me by Del Monte or any of the companies that are selling this. This was sent to me by a viewer, Nathan. And I'm especially excited because this was sent to me without any kind of sponsorship or anything like that. I can say whatever I want about this pineapple, and um, that's a good thing because I have a little bit of an issue here. <laughs> because this is really leaning into the Instagrammable nature of the product. And if you go to the Del Monte website, they say things like, don't worry about a filter, we grow it. And Pink Glow will look phenomenal on whatever social media platform is in vogue by the time you read this. So they're really going into that, and the fact that this is pink, also goes into that whole Instagrammable thing because uh, pink is a thing. There's such a thing as uh, millennial pink. And um, I don't really jam with that sort of thing. Uh, I think there's like a millennial aesthetic, which is usually like minimalism. Everything is white, everything is pink, everything is kind of like nostalgic and like more like babyish in aesthetic. I am technically a millennial, I'm 35, but if you look around my apartment, I don't really have so much of a millennial aesthetic. You don't really see millennial pink anywhere. You see more of a death aesthetic here. I mean, I turned my coffee table into a coffin. So uh, this isn't for me. The aesthetic is not for me, but the fruit, that is what I'm excited about. So I'm interested today to really dive into this pineapple and to look at it with no filters, not anything that Instagram is gonna care about, is going to be looked at with like the cold, crab-like eyes of YouTube. So that's what we're doing here today. Let's take a real good look at this pink pineapple and see what's inside it. Okay, here we go. Uh, they put a lot of branding on the box. Uh, Precious Cargo, Costa Rica. Yes, this is grown uh, in a very limited quantity on one farm in Costa Rica, I believe. And they uh, want you to know about that. That's kind of interesting, though. A limited Jewel of the Jungle, Fresh Del Monte. It's, it looks really nice. I like the, the pattern and everything. It's, they didn't spare any expense in, in the marketing here. These things are kind of expensive, so it's nice to see that they you know went with the packaging like that. Okay. Bah! Okay, we're starting to get pink here, guys. Everybody stay calm. Uh, Jewel of the Jungle, and what is this? Oh, all right. We've got um, a sealed envelope with Your Treasure Has Arrived in Millennial Pink, of course. Even the sticker has PG on it, Pink Glow. Um, okay, we've got a Certificate of Authenticity, the Pink Glow Pineapple. They packed it really well, too. It's got... Yeah, it's like a cold box. There's like uh, an ice pack in there or something. Because this pineapple is chilled. There it is. Ooh, and you can smell it. It's got a strong smell already. So I'm not sure if this is so it fits in the box, or if it's also kind of leaning into this, like, baby-proof millennial thing but they cut off the top of it. <laughs> so they, there's like a few little leaves on it, but they chopped the uh, top of it for some reason. Not sure why, but uh, I guess that doesn't really matter. Uh, that's one of the indicators of how to tell the pineapple is ripe is people say that you reach in and you pull the, the leaves of this out. So I can't use that as a way to see if it's ready. Uh, how you can also tell a pineapple is ripe is that you want it to give slightly. So not a lot, and when I squeeze this, it gives a little bit, a little bit. So this probably could take another day, but I think it's about ready. All right, so cut it open, looks good, and it's, uh, it's that time. It's time that all of you guys have been waiting for. Instagram photos.
I know that I kind of like hate on the millennial pink thing, but can't lie, that's really cool. <laughs> it's really neat that they're able to do that. There's a really good article, by the way, by uh, Kitchen. I'll put a, a link to that below. And Kitchen says that inside pineapples, there are two different enzymes. There is lycopene and beta carotene. So lycopene's this thing that you get in uh, tomatoes and it gives a red color. Beta carotene has more of like a yellowish orange color. What they do is they kind of tinker with the enzymes in the pineapple and that brings out the natural pink coloring. So it's not like they dyed it or anything. This is a natural enzyme that exists in pineapples and they just kind of like bring it out more. So, um, neat. I think that's neat. This thing costs... $50 online with free shipping, which um, I guess that makes sense. I mean, you wouldn't want to spend $50 at a supermarket, obviously, but considering that they ship it in like the packaging and everything, honestly, I don't think that's that bad. <laughs> I don't think that's bad. All right. Ooh, and the core on this is actually pretty soft. so weird <laughs> it's so weird so this is also not supposed to taste like your typical pineapple it's supposed to be sweeter and it's supposed to have like a unique flavor that is not in your typical pineapple so let's see if that is true here we go that is that is a, a really good pineapple i haven't had the best luck on this channel with pineapples i've reviewed like a handful already and all of them were bad uh, this is the first time i've had a pineapple that actually tastes good and it's um it's very juicy like right now there is pineapple juice going down my arm it's a uh, very juicy succulent pineapple the texture on it is really good and i'd say yeah it is sweeter it is sweeter um on a scale of one to ten it's not sugar but it's up there. I'd say it's probably like an eight. The tartness on this is on par with a regular pineapple, I would say. Uh, it's like around the same tartness as an orange, maybe, like a five out of 10. But what's most notable to me is that it is like juicy as hell. Like there's pineapple juice everywhere. So the flavor of this is not too crazy, but it does taste like a good pineapple. It is a little bit more like a pineapple candy-ish kind of flavor, maybe because there's more sugar in it. I'm also getting a touch of a strawberry candy flavor. And I'm questioning myself on, on even saying that because I don't know if that's really there or if I'm just picking up the suggestion because this thing is pink. Probably more so pineapples just have a berryish flavor to them. I think if you eat pineapples and you really think about it, you can pick up different tropical tastes in there. There's maybe like a touch of something like mango or a touch of something like coconut and a touch of like a berryish flavor, like a strawberry or raspberry kind of flavor. I think that is just inside pineapples. Honestly, I was um, pretty skeptical about this. I wanted to kind of like trash it a little bit. Figured that'd be fun, <laughs> but it's actually not a bad product. It's um, it's a bit expensive for pineapple, but it's so hard to get a good pineapple. That alone is worth a little bit extra money. And the fact that, you know, it's getting shipped to you and it has like this color to it. Yeah, I, I could justify spending 50 bucks for this, like for a special occasion or to uh, have one for a party or something. Or, yes, if you wanted to, to take pictures and post them on Instagram, I guess. So, um, yeah, it's, it tastes good. It, it tastes good. It looks neat. So, uh, I don't hate it. It's, uh, it's pretty, pretty nifty. And if, uh, if you're interested in trying this, uh, check out the link below. I'll put a link there. And thanks again to Nathan for sending this to me. This is something that I wasn't aware of. So, uh, thank you for bringing this to my attention and, uh, sending me one. 
And I think that's about it. So thanks so much, everybody, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, before you click out, I want to give a very special thank you to AltPod, Smarter Every Day, and the Harbor Leaf Tea Company. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. Uh, Patreon.com, if you haven't heard of it, it is how this channel happens. It's how I get all the funding to go on the trips I go on and how I get all the fruit that I try. So if you're interested in supporting my channel, uh, check out the link in the description below. Uh, another thing is that I have t-shirts for sale. Those are also available in the description below as well. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.